Sunshine Stitchers. I'm EJ. I'm Deb. And I'm Shelia. <laughs> and we want to welcome you to our Floss Tube uh, for this week. We're at episode 266. 266. Yes. Wow. A lot of video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of videos. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so a couple of things. First, you see a different backdrop for EJ and I. Um, yeah, the light coming through my doors in the back, it was just- With the Zoom, with the combination of Zoom. Yeah, too much. Too much. Just too lot. much. So we, <laughs> poor Deb had to sit while we completely turned Turn. everything around <laughs> this morning. So now facing- the other side of my dining area wall. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. It feels so weird. I got to get wrap my head around it. <laughs> and Deb is at home. Yes. So, <laughs> so, but we were not going to let this week go by uh, and missing Deb uh, two months in a row. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Yeah. And um, so let's, I guess one of the things that we always <laughs> want to acknowledge, I know I'm a little thrown. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We always want to acknowledge the comments that we receive from everybody. And this week was no exception. Um, so I got a little <laughs> felt box last week when I was at my retreat. It's well, we had a little, it was a little container. Uh -huh. We didn't know what it was. And somebody told us it's felt. It's a felt. Did I see it? Yeah, it's the little beige container thing. I can't jump up. Oh, I could jump up and go get it, but it's not worth it. It's it's a little beige container thing, but we didn't know what material it was. And someone said it was. It's a felt. Oh. It's a hard, like an industrial. Felt. Yes, I remember. Okay. Yeah, an industrial felt. Oh, you get them at Target. So, oh. Yeah. Oh. I, my response is, I need to go to Target oh. more often. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Uh, so many people um, have dragon birthdays. Yes. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Somebody's also a fire, fire dragon. Because that's perfect. The fire and the dragon. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, my, my grandson is a dragon, but he was born. He's a water dragon. So, oh. oh. He's a water dragon. Yeah. And my other grandson was born the year of the monkey. And he's a fiery red monkey. <laughs> he's a fire monkey. <laughs> and yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> so that one was, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> one, one viewer commented that she's a metal rat. Oh, that's yeah. Nothing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I think I'm a horse, but I don't know what kind. <laughs> Never got into it that I, I should I do think, it. Yeah. I've never done it. I don't know. A couple of folks comp gave complimented you that you are so much, <laughs> you look so much younger than you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's that. Well, well it's, it's not EJ, it's you too, Shelia. Come on now. Well, I, my hair is really turning gray, so I'm I'm beginning to look closer and closer to my age. Well, when when you're shorn, <laughs> shorn, there's no telling. <laughs> well thank you <laughs> and uh, several people commented on the cleanliness of mm. Bucky's bathrooms I, I read that yeah so when we do our road trip later we got this go year to we'll there's am I sipping on the right cup yes okay this one right yes okay yeah because yeah. we turned the yeah. <laughs> and I'm steadily drinking. Oh yeah. uh, well. <laughs> well, yours had much more ice than mine. Okay, so that was. Okay. Um, sorry, Bucky's bathroom amazing. Yeah, so they wanted you to know. Okay. Be okay. Okay, good. Because Bucky's bathrooms are incredibly clean, and they even have somebody if if it's really really busy. Mm -hmm. That there are people constantly cleaning, but also somebody helping to manage the line. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. A mm. line manager. Uh, yeah. That's a lot. That's pretty cool. I have to say, yeah. I'm impressed yeah. by that comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then somebody else, Denise, mm -hmm. and says she only uses Bucky's <laughs> bathrooms when she travels, but she's in Texas. Uh-huh. So, so she, she has she a lot can, of Bucky. She can, yeah, she yeah. can do Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought you meant she doesn't even go at home. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? It's eight o'clock at night. I got to go to East Wrestling. Let me go to Bucky's. Exactly. I, should, I, should I tell this story? When my daughter was going out with her now husband, she wouldn't go around him. She would come home. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. Does that sound right to you? Yeah. I was the I, weirdest thing. Let's keep some things secret. I know that's her story. No, <laughs> no, but I know. <laughs> but you get you understand it. I completely I understand. It. I said, I thought you were on a date. Oh, I had to use the bathroom. I no, said, yeah, I uh, what? <laughs> I agree with her. I support this message. <laughs> oh, boy. If she went into a Bucky, see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bucky's. Unfortunately, no Bucky's around here. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Um, so let's turn to cross stitch because that's yes. what this channel is all about. Cross stitch. Uh, anybody cross have stitch. any finishes this week? No, I do. Oh, you do. Yay. I do. <laughs> Believe it or not. A long, long time ago and far, far away. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I talked about my 24 whips and 24. Mm-hmm. And for January, it was Halloween Quaker by Leela Studio and um, January by Cricut Collection. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I finished both of them. You oh, did? Yeah. I did. Here is Halloween Quaker. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that is Oh, that gorgeous. looks really good. Look at that. Little house, good. remember the houses? Yes, yes. I love that. Love, love that part. What's the fabric? It's nice. Is it murky? It is murky, but it's opalescent. I don't know if you can tell. It's sparkly. I it's see. not showing up very well here. Um, but yeah, it's it's mur uh, murky opalescent by Picture This Plus, and so it's 40 count? 40, forty count. Oh, forty count. Ooh. Yeah. 40 count was it hard to stitch on how is i didn't i didn't find it hard no i used a light and a magnifier and and have, to, have you ever stitched a picture this plus a 36 count uh i'm sure i have yeah i must have comparison is between the two 36 and a 40, 40 on picture this plus who's die they die tight things they do die tight Picture this plus 36 and 40. I don't know that I noticed any difference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's gorgeous. Thank you. That white is popping. That ghost. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. yeah. It looks really nice. Uh, I, I did a couple different things. Um, one of the changes I made, I guess maybe that's the only one. Yeah. Um you were supposed to use three, there were several different kinds of, or, or sorts of um, black. Mm -hmm. uh, there were over dyes and one was supposed to be 310. Mm -hmm. And instead I used the black, and I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the number, but it was the black for um, silks for you. No. I, I, I got a hank quite a while ago. And nice. if I ever need 310 and I just, I'm using one thread. I use it. Okay. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. So it's in there, you know, here and there. Yay. Good job. So that's that one. And then the other one is, again, January by Cricut Collection. Oh, wow. You did a whole bunch. Yes. That is, yeah, you really did a lot. Wow. Trying to get it straight. Um, yeah, it it I was I surprised myself, I gotta say. <laughs> when I picked it up, I had to finish this angel. Mm -hmm. This set was about eh, half done, this letter. And then I had to come down here, put in the A, the R, 
the Y, and that little bird down there. You, it was that's a it's lot. Lovely. Good job. And well, I know that piece means a lot to you too, because I remember one time you were talking mm -hmm. about it. So congratulations. Thank you. I'm really happy to have it done. Yeah. I'm going to try and frame it myself. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, let, we'll, we'll just see about that. But yeah. I think I'll, I'm going to try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so those are my two finishes. And this is what they were supposed to look like. That was that one. And that was that one. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Now, do you remember what January is on? The fabric. Uh, yes. Uh, January was on Opalescent Heather by uh, Picture This Plus. Okay. It's, it's a 28 count. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. I like that on 28 count because you can really see yes. the letters and the elements in the letters, the motifs and the letters. That's Absolutely. The only thing is you I did have to use two threads and you know. Ugh. So I railroad when I do that. And yes. uh it takes it it takes up more time when you do that. But um, I, I actually um, I mean, I don't mind using one strand. I mean, it is certainly easier using one strand, but yeah, uh, I like the finished look of two threads. And really? and my go-to count is thirty-two. 32. Yeah. So right. Yeah, I, and and so I try to really work on my technique so that my threads align flat. I do railroad. But I also twist my needle when it's coming back up. Yeah. Don't keep twisting. Mm -hmm. I untwist it as it right. comes the, I, I give it like a quarter turn when I pull yeah. it through the thread. Yeah. Um, I don't know that technique. You just there was there was a floss tuber. I heard it long ago that they did that. And I said, oh, I'm gonna try that. And uh so I've been doing that for a long time, but railroading, I never did that. No railroading. I never did that in the olden days, you know, when the covered wagons were still crossing <laughs> the prairies and the olden days, no, but these days, you know, I like, railroad the top. It's just a go-to for me. I railroad. Yeah. Them. Um, depending like when I was doing the white stitches, they really stand out if they look crummy. So I was doing both legs railroading both legs I have to the only good thing time. about two threads is you can uh, loop start and I love that I love yeah. a loop start yes yeah. I love a loop start yeah I have to say yeah. Pete Farish has a nice video out about it might have been one of her early ones when she was talking some of the techniques of stitching mm -hmm. she she can't stand railroading mm -hmm. <laughs> but, oh but she does talk about how, and, and I've heard it many times, it, when you are bringing your needle back up through the fabric, you're not conscious of it, but it turns a little bit. There's actually a mm -hmm. little quarter turn that's being made, which is what makes that thread twist. Mm -hmm. So every time you do that, there's another twist in the thread, which mm -hmm. is why I mm -hmm. wind up with this, mm -hmm. almost like a rope. The, the thread. Yes, so yes. Yeah. And yeah. just drop the thread yeah. and it just goes you know unwinds yeah. so if when you bring it up through the fabric if you counter turn yeah you see it in the threads because mm -hmm. you'll actually see them turn mm -hmm. back and be flat okay yeah all right yeah i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll see. see i mean i'm gonna look to see what next time yeah, just, yeah. Now it's just unconscious i do it just not thinking about it yeah. yeah, and and for me, I've been doing this so long. it's a combination of the two. Mm -hmm. I don't use only one or only the other. Mm -hmm. It sometimes it depends on how long the thread is at any given point as to what I do. That's that's a good point, and yeah. I'll still let it drop and on on yeah. the periodically. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's just part of I'm stitching, so this is part of my stitching mm -hmm. process. You know, so exactly, yeah. But I guess, but stitching with one thread, I got to say, it's a lot more relaxing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it, it, it changes the focus for sure. It does. It does. All righty. So uh, any starts? 
Yes, actually. Oh, yeah, I have a start. Oh, goody. Oh, you had four starts last week? I had no. No, you had no one start. start oh, I had one start last week. Yeah. 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 I'm supposed to have four starts in February. Oh, that's but this is. is not one of the starts. In February. Oh, oh, this isn't even one of the ones you were talking about. No. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Lamb, they're just suggestions. I mean, right? Yeah. Um, but this is part of actually my whip go. Okay. Because it, um, my whip go mm -hmm. is touch your piece. Yeah. So I remember I spun the wheel. Yeah. And it said seasonal motif too. Okay. So I finished, well, I finished the pink ones. This one and this one. This is horrible. Hold on. Wait, this one. Wait, that one. This one. I finished this one and this one. So to work on my seasonal motifs too, I started this one. Okay summer so and this is the yeah there we go seasonal britter cup design seasonal motif too this is the summer motif oh nice are they all the same um floss color it's black and a um accent color which is like a this one is like a rose the other one is like a um what color is that green right here mm -hmm. so this is like a green it basically matches the the month of the season the mat oh 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 so so they are a little different yes. yeah so if you have the pink mat you have like a pink little doohickey accent uh-huh yes. red is a pinkish mm -hmm. color correct okay that's pretty cool yes oh, sorry so this is my start this is mm -hmm. a fabric I call dirty, mm -hmm. <laughs> stitched by me because I want it to look like dirt, a little mm -hmm. bit like, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oiled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my new start. All right. Very good. Thank you so much. Did, did you have a new start, Deb? I just. I didn't. I have uh, new starts in my plans, but I'll show those later. Okay. I had a start. Yay. Um, I talked about this last week uh Anne Crowther 1833 this is a reproduction by works by ABC Anne Crowther is a liberated African girl she was 12 years old when she stitched this sampler and she's believed to have lived in Sierra Leone mm -hmm. um, stitching this on a Roxy Flosco Billie Jean in 28 count. And this is one of the fabrics I bought at Jacob Palooza. Oh, look at you. And um, I'm using the call for DMC. So she, oh, no. her, her, her words are over one. Oh, okay. Yeah, little well, girls love their over one words. I, I do like to hear about people using DMC. I do too. The, my my cricket collection uh was DMC. Mm -hmm. I mean the the January. Overdyes, overdyes are wonderful and nice, but mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, DMC is great. Yeah. So here is my start. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> here is my start. I kind of get it. Center, center, and turn. There, go. there we go. Thank you. I'm having. Is that the board? That's the border. Oh, middle here. top start. So I did a middle top start. You want to see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had, okay. Yeah. I I started. Um, Are you looking for this? It, yeah. In the middle and went and came and came this way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm almost at the end of the top going in that direction. Mm -hmm. So this is Billie Jean. It's, it's a bluish gray. It's a blue gray color. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and here are the colors that it will be. I'm missing one. Mm. But very pretty. Look at those. You're, nice. you're missing one because you don't have it? I oh I tell you the two stars for February 
You should have seen the list I took to the cupboard yesterday. For DMC. DMC. I was in a state of shock. <laughs> I was in a complete state of shock. I must have bought eight colors. Wow. What in the they're, world? Are they, they're in other projects, clearly. Maybe, but I even went through that big old pile. That yes. You, basically, all of the um, floss that I, from pieces that I finished last mm -hmm. year or pieces that had been kitted that I decided to unkit mm -hmm. had been sitting in this one little corner in my stitching room. It's a just a little corner mm -hmm. on a table. And I mean, it was a mound of floss. <laughs> I mean, it was a humongous amount of floss. I went through last week pulled out the overdyes and put them away because mm -hmm. I had some overdyes that I was putting away. I said, Let, let's deal with this. Mm -hmm. So now all I have left there is the DMC. Mm -hmm. I pulled all of that out, but I refused to organize it. To put it away. <laughs> but I pulled it all out and looked through it to find colors to kit these two projects. Yes. And then I went to my, my regular like where I keep them. Mm -hmm. And then I went to my backup inventory. <laughs> and, and, and I still needed <laughs> about seven or eight colors. I sat there in disbelief. Like I can't, <laughs> the thousands of skeins of DMC here. And I, I don't have any of these colors, but these are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm very really, nice. Yeah, very exciting. Very, yes. And they're just going to look fantastic on, yes. on that fabric. So I'm very excited about Ann Crowther, 1833 works by ABC. Okay. Oh, yes. All righty, whips. Deb, let's see your whips. Well, I don't honestly have whips because my whips turned into my finishes. Oh, okay. So I was working on the two pieces I showed you guys mm -hmm. nonstop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And monogamously oh, okay nothing and, else got, got in there and you haven't started your february 12th. i i haven't so i i thought i could talk about those during uh plans okay that's fine yeah yeah so ej let's see your whips so <clears throat> i worked on another whip go project this is old joyous day by Designs. I love that one. Is that one on my 24 for 24? Keep talking. I'll check. Okay. <laughs> and um, I'm doing Pick a Whip, which is uh, Marjorie made stitches, I think. She's on Instagram and YouTube and she does videos. And um, every month, no, twice a week. No, that's not true either. Twice a month bi-weekly she picks the prompt and this week's this two weeks prompt is stitch something with flowers and because mm -hmm. part of my whip go you see all the flowers yeah perfect perfect so oh joyous day remember when we spun the wheel last week mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all <laughs> Ooh, pretty so perfect on that fabric thank you yes looks great no that's a good question this is a oh this is a 32 count picture this plus legacy mm. oh that's a nice one yeah yeah that's the next one and <laughs> i'm using perfect uh, for that yeah versions mm -hmm. So this is per I so the last time you saw it, I only had this one done. Mm -hmm. But um this round, this week, I worked on the middle part. Mm -hmm. Still didn't finish that and worked on this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Still need to do a couple of cream stitches in there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's it's pretty looking, I, yeah. But I'm stitching even with 32 counts. This is stitched with one strand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Picture this plus Lugana. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks really good. It does. It doesn't look um bare. Right. I don't know like at all. Mm -hmm. really, yeah. 
I know some people stitch one strand on 28 count. Really? The tightness of the fabric too, though. Yeah. Oh, huh. well. So that's one whip. Well, that's, yeah, that's a, a whip. Mm -hmm. And the next one I worked, oh yeah. And this is the, the color palette. Oh, so you oh, so pretty. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice. So, and then, yeah, I suppose I could have looked at my Victoria model sampler for both B and C. I didn't even think about that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was so in the mode of BMC, DMC, you know, DMC. just like, and you know, you have a ton of them. Yeah. So I, they must be here. Yeah. I was just so driven. I just. <laughs> so you, nice you knew you were going to the cupboard. So you figured full steam ahead. That was, that was the other part too. I knew I was going to the cupboard and I just said, make a list, make a list. Mm -hmm. so I got tired of Sheila clowning me. <laughs> And I worked on, see, no remorse. I worked on one dozen Quakers. Yes, one dozen Quakers. I'm on um, shoot, this section, the February section. Okay. And we're in February, so perfect. February. Yeah, she can keep it up. Uh-huh. I did one over one, some stitch, some one over one stitching. Very good. Oh, man. Dedication. <laughs> on 28 count Atomic Ranch, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I forgot the name. Oh, Atomic Ranch is called um, Dune. Dune. So let me show you what I did. Oh, my. Is that a right side? Oh, oh that looks great. Right Oops. Right. There you go. <laughs> Here it is. So oh, I, yeah. I worked, I finished this motif. This one, the big one. This no, this is that one. Yeah. So I finished that motif and then I worked on the one over one. <laughs> this one. So point to it, keep it. And yeah. And I wait. Yeah. And I worked on this one over one motif. That, Not that one. That one? No. Where? That one. This one. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. pointing there. I thought you were saying. No, I thought like, you said this one. No, I was pointing to the one below first. Yes, yeah, that one. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> so, Sheila, I mean, uh, EJ, are all of that, those little ones like that, are all of those over one? Yes. Oh, wow. So, there's Broken. kind of a, lot, a, a lot of it, isn't there? There's a good number. Not a mm -hmm. lot. Oh, wait. Ooh, let me see. One, two, three. No, it's not that bad. Yeah. You know, no, no, it's not that bad. Yeah. And, and I jump in to say that because, you know, some of her other designs, like the Winter Quaker, where there are all those little snowflakes or something, mm -hmm. just like splattered throughout. It's not that dense. heavy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And it's this one. Is that's that really one? Like yes. It. And Got I have it. another old one to do a, right above it. But I'm thinking maybe it's too crowded. Stick to the design. Your host. Oh, okay. stick, <laughs> stick to the design. We have, we have creative licenses. This no, is no, no. This, is the host. this whole thing is just a suggestion. You are the host. Sounds like a, sounds like this. Trusted police are cracking down. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But I love it. The one over one was nice. I, I used the um the fabric Bethlehem and it's that very nice variegated floss. That fabric. Uh-huh. 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 Is it fabric? You said fabric. Variegated variegated fabric. Floss. Variegated floss in Bethlehem is what you use for yes. number one. Yeah. yeah, but you said I use a variegated fabric. Well, you did I say that. I apologize. It's it's I am using uh well anyway, the floss. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's it's fine. confusing. There you go. My little brain, it gets confused. Atomic ranch dune fabric. Yes. 
Bethlehem floss for my over one and border. See, and, and what I love is the fact that you are using the same color for your border and your over one. Mm -hmm. That really ties it together. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's why I'm so such a proponent for not omitting any of the over one because oh. I think as you as you are putting in the sure. other larger motifs mm -hmm. those smaller over one mm -hmm. in that same color mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. just going to enhance it tremendously and I'm not just saying that I mean yeah. I mean, that's look at you yes okay ma'am I'll say <laughs> over one <laughs> You okay now, Shuya? I only have okay. one more over one. In that little area. In that little area. I gotta finish this one. Move on. And then I'll move on to the uh, are you okay now? I'm okay now. Let's let's no more trolling, EJ. No, no more trolling. <laughs> let's, just, let's just do it as we desire. So my next, well, maybe this is planned, but I'm gonna work on this part next. Okay. But this looks so much fun. Like I can see like pathways mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. go with this. This is so much you know fun. What that reminds me of it reminds me of an ink circles. This one? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's it's almost mm -hmm. like a mandala where uh -huh. you you got the it's the same same design, but because it's repeated in four different directions. Mm -hmm. I love those because every time you start in a new direction, it's almost, it's like stitching a new piece. Yeah, because yeah. you don't turn your thing around. Yeah, it's yeah. like stitching a whole new piece and all of a sudden it starts to appear and you say, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me for whips. Okay. Oh. Well, I have the whip that I was going to show last week, but I didn't because I left it sitting on the couch over there. And this is a piece that um, actually, if you sorry, if you watched our review of the craft hard side craft. crafts mm -hmm. um, table, mm -hmm. uh, you've seen uh, this Juneteenth day, and I haven't taken it off because I'm I'm working on it a lot this month. Did I have it backwards? No. Oh, okay. Wait, is that the back? That's the back. That's the back. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's the front. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been working on this and I'm going to be working on it this month. So I did not want to take it off the frame. Uh, this is This Juneteenth Day by Shaded Stitchery. I am stitching this on uh, 32 count, We Will Die For You, Cashmere. Um, mm -hmm. Needle minder. Oh! The dyer <laughs> is We Will Die oh, Okay. I was like, that's a strange name for a fabric, but I understand. Well, given my <laughs> enjoyment of true crime, it makes a lot of sense. I understand that, but no, we will die D Y E uh, uh -huh. for, for you. you. That's the and company, the, and the colorway is cashmere. cashmere. Got it. And that's beautiful. Yeah, isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah, a lot of it is thirty three seventy one. Mm -hmm. A lot of this design is um, thirty three seventy one, but um, I just love the way it's 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 showing up against the color of this fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Where yeah. did you source your fabric, Shelia? I have no idea. No idea. And that's because, you know, I when I visit stores, yeah, I, I buy fabric. Oh, right. Yeah. Which is why I have a small stores inventory. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, I uh, I have my own uh, LNS in my house as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm enjoying that. That is a fun yes. stitch. That's one of my starts for this month. Oh, and oh. So I haven't bought it yet. I'm sorry. What I'm working on is this section right here. Mm -hmm. nice. And that is a very intricate design, um, that that bit. So it takes a little, a little it's not fast. Mm -hmm. But it's oh, it's, it's fun mm -hmm. as it shows up. It's it's really cool. So um, this is nice. 
That's that. My second whip is also a big girl. And this one is, oh, wait, I'm pulling from the wrong pile. Yes, here, put that in that. This goes here. No, that goes over there yeah. by itself. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's over here. Yes, she's a big girl. Big girl. Okay. Oh. I get confused. Boy. Where's the picture? I don't know. Oh, I, okay. Hold on. Here, you hold this. Okay. So she's a big girl. Oh, don't you let it in there? Somehow I managed to actually put it in the plastic bag. Oh. oh. Well, I don't know what's going on. Somehow my all of my setup has broken down on this piece. Let me just pull it out. Oh, but it's not even this one. Yeah, no, that's a oh. stitch design. Gotcha. Okay, Woo! Lord have mercy. Okay, so this is Queenstown uh, sampler designs, the Mary Pets sampler, Baltimore, Maryland, 1831. Isn't that interesting? Because Ann Crowther is 1833. Yeah. Um, and what's also interesting is that Ann Crowther, um, you know, was was rescued from a slave ship. And that was two years before um, Mary Petz was stitching on her sampler mm -hmm. in Baltimore, just the, the times. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so this is a reproduction sampler uh, from the collection of the Oblate Sisters of Providence in Baltimore, Maryland. And it is the first African-American Roman Catholic sisterhood. And there have been, I have a magazine article that I still have to finish that talks a lot about the sisterhood and the teaching, the education that was provided and mentions Mary Pets. Mm -hmm. And I was reading something else recently that also mentioned Mary mm -hmm. Pets. And so I feel I'm really um, happy to be, I'm going to make a new show sheet for this because I don't know what happened to the other one. So here it is. I don't see it, but go ahead. No, I can hold. Yes, yeah, no, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So I'm working actually on the border here. I decided to bring the border down on the side, uh, and I'm almost done uh, in bringing the border down. And I might be done, or just have a little bit left. Uh, mm. I'll start working on uh, the inside. Uh, border this line here, but, mm -hmm. but that's what I've been. That's <laughs> that's what I'm working on is is just bringing down this border, and it's a nice border. Mm -hmm. The the flowers in it, uh, they're not all the same, so you just can't all of a sudden, you know, go on autopilot with them because the mm -hmm. size and shape of those flowers do change, as well as the color. Mm -hmm. I actually had to frog because I automatically was just filling in the flowers just mm -hmm. coming down because I had the stems in and I was just coming down and all of a sudden realized, oh, wait a minute, this is not only a different color, but it's a different shape. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh, are you going to finish the border so it'll match or are you yes. going to work? Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, because on the picture. There's there's um, there's people here. Uh huh. There's people in there. There's lawn. So I've got some good uh, touch points or markers on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. on that side. And I want to. Um, there's a big lawn that comes off of it. So and then there's a big fence down here at the bottom. So I want to bring the border down so I can start working on that because if I bring like the fence across the bottom, I'm good. I know I'm good. And if I have any fudging to do, I'll fudge it on um, this side over here, which is mm. what I usually do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So um, yeah, so that's and you can see she's she's big. Um, yeah, that's is that a fat half? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. she's a big girl. And this was um, kitted for me at uh, by Sassy Jacks, um, and I'm using oh. the call for silks. Um, Overa Swa, I believe they are. Oh, nice. That's nice working with that. Yeah, yeah. And if, that and if one. Make it special. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just for contrast purposes, <laughs> yeah. African Lady with Flowers, um, which is on 14, a 14 count black. It's a Lenarta chart and oh. it was a gift. Um, mm -hmm. And from Maria. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on mm -hmm. her dress. Ooh. Yes. So Ooh. I started. That's beautiful. I started in the middle and worked up. So I've reached the top oh, part oh, of the, the scrolly, the scrolly section of her dress. Oh, mm -mm. Isn't that just yes. awesome? Yes, cool. I, I love this. It's incredible. I, I'm enjoying it tremendously. And your I, white stitches are amazing. And there's and there's two strands. Man. That's my and you know what? I I have several pieces that I'm using all white mm -hmm. or have a considerable amount of white purposely mm -hmm. because I'm not going to let the challenge of laying down good stitches in white keep me from mm -hmm. doing. doing the pieces that I want. Mm -hmm. And and so a lot of these are technique improving opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's what I see them as techni nice. uh, technique. Yeah. So when you get to something like this, where you're doing white on black, I mean, you know. yeah. And that's where the twisting and railroading mm -hmm. combination. Absolutely, yeah. So that is African lady with flowers, flowers and um, she will be ultimately framed and I will sit her on the wall next to African lady with vase because mm -hmm. it's basically the same mm -hmm. artist. Yes. Rosina Dissery, my other um, black girl. Sam oh, we remember her. Yes, Rosina Dissery, 1820. Uh, and this is another reproduction by uh, works by ABC. This one is on 28 count French vanilla by R and R reproductions. I'm oh, using 28 count. Mm -hmm. And I'm using wow. the pearl for DMC. It's because that one over one. Yes. Those oh, okay. Or one okay. over one. Yes. They're and the yeah. top part of the the top Band, yes. banner mm -hmm. part is also over one. So there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now this piece is um, in the New York Historical Society. Uh, Rosina Dissery um, went to the New York African Free School and um, which was run by the New York Manumission Society to provide education and skills. It's not a Quaker school, but the founders and managers of the school were Quaker. Oh, okay. And here is Rosina Dissery. Wow, oh, you look how much yes. you've done. Yes, I am wow. so happy and so pleased with the progress that mm -hmm. I'm making here. Now this time, I worked on the flower mm -hmm. here. I thought I was done and I actually put it on the Q-snap to, to work over here. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden I went back and I looked and said, oh, no, 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 I still have a whole lot to do over here. So this flower is now done mm -hmm. on this side and I have to repeat it over on that side, which I will do. Um, I've got two more days on her this month, I think. So, so are okay. the motifs on the um, on the left repeated on the right? Yes, yes. 
do they see the flowers do you see yeah the, it, it's, it's a here. light it, they're light color the unfortunate they are. yeah yeah but when you see it in person you can really mm -hmm. i'm it. sure yeah they're yeah. pretty yeah it doesn't quite come off that well but they're pretty mm -hmm. they're very pretty it's very nice i i like it a lot thank you my last whip this is my whip go what was my other whip go i don't know what was your whip go from there i remember i did work on it i'll, I'll when i we talk about plans i'll mention it is the uh, letters from mom Jeanette Douglas I'm working on March um it's a lakeside linen yeah it's a, it's a lakeside linen flagstone in 36 count and this time I worked on specialty stitches so there's March so I finished the row of rice stitch that's that yellow yeah that band there, there? no oh okay right oh there. I, see, I see it yeah, yeah that's a, a rice, rice stitch, stitch there, there. Mm -hmm. and then i started on the black work right uh row mm -hmm. and the black work row is a cottage garden thread plum pudding mm -hmm. which is the same thing as the border the mm -hmm. borders on these are all satin stitch and it's just, um, it's just, yeah, I really, uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, the the black work mm -hmm. in that uh, cottage garden thread is just stunning to mm -hmm. me. I mean, I just, I just thought it looked fabulous. So my goal this month, I hope I can make it, is, is finish? to finish, yeah, March. Okay. Don't oh, you finished. you'll be fine, right? Yeah, I think no problem. So. Oh, yes, because below oh, no. below the black work are was a big bunny. Yeah, it's all full cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll that'll go fast. The mm -hmm. bottom border mm -hmm. has uh what it's called the ray stitch, and the ray stitch is pretty just long stitches. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the. I never heard of of that one. Ray stitch. Yeah, yeah, she did that on her um Erica Michaels, Michaels book. Yeah, the R. Oh, was... really? Oh, yeah. okay. So um, I should be able to do it. You should. Yeah, yeah I I see I see yeah. that in your yeah I, I see that in your future. Yeah, <laughs> I was working on this Thursday when I. I finished, I did, I finished that row of rice stitch and started the black work all on Thursday. Nice. And I, wow. I almost finished the black work, but I realized I had just run out of steam and I just didn't want to push it at that point. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, that was me at midnight last night when I was putting that little bird in. Yeah. <laughs> I was I like, it was just, it's not just a bird, you can yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah all righty plans so Deb let's see your plans uh, you know we know about your 12 your, should, your... should should we do um investments first oh we can we can I thought that that was usually the order but uh, but I mean, we, she likes to keep it fresh and exciting and switch it up a bit yeah I mean okay okay I'm gonna do clothes let's do clothes Let's do investments. Let's so Deb, let's see what you you've invested in. I, I didn't know if you had any, so but but I've had this for a while. This was the January um fabric club from Color and Cotton. And oh. if we remember, I do this club every other month. Mm -hmm. Uh linen. Any um any count from 32 to 40 count and any color mm -hmm. she can send me anything she wants mm -hmm. so this is I don't know. that's better it's called orchid soft yes and it is 36 count 
Nice. So these are all back quarters. And that's what I got. Ooh, that light's really changing. Yeah. <laughs> put it as, put as, as we see. But anyway, yeah. 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 My light, my sunlight changed. It went, oh, went away. <laughs> but um, love this. Great for spring. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really nice. I just can't give up my Color and Cotton Club because mm -hmm. I love stitching on it. And it's just gorgeous. So great. Yes. Speaking of, you have any more? That's it. Speaking yes, of so color, one and only oh, thing. Blue bag. Ah. Not true. This is under the sea fabrics. Oh. This is under the sea fabrics. Okay. Oh, look this at that. Called Frigga. <laughs> And I think, you know, with Undersea Fabric, like, oh, I'm going to take a break. But then, every, you know, every month she shows you what's going to mm -hmm. be for the next month. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is so pretty. I can't. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 36 count fat quarter. This is called Frigga. Oh, that's pretty. It's very pretty. It's showing up pretty true. In it's coming across as like a blue green. Is that right? Yes. It's gorgeous. Okay. It's a little Love it. Thing underneath it. I, you know, a, yeah, blue green with I think maybe a little. Well, maybe not. Maybe a little just... blue. There it is. Gorgeous. So, and I ordered the next month too because that was a pretty one. But I ordered an Ada on that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you can um you can change your account as long as she knows ahead of time. Yeah. Oh, that's nice to be so flexible. Yeah. yeah. Very. Now, what's the count on that one? 30? This is a thirty-six count. Thirty-six. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Linen. And then I ordered a set of Nerge. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. Uh, so the six one yes. four stitcher. So this is, I have all four sizes. It all came together. And this was on Amazon. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. I just find that little one to be so little. This one? Yeah. So by the time I've got it in my hand, mm -hmm. I, there's nothing. It's so tight to work on. Uh, I have one of those. That's why I yeah. don't know. I've is it, would it be better on a frame, maybe? You know what I mean? Like put it on a different size. Yeah. Because a small is, it says 110 millimeters. Uh-huh. I don't know. It's like a, almost like a five by five, maybe. It's smaller than a six by six. Sorry. It's a yeah. five by 110. It's, it's, well, it's smaller than a six by six two steps. Yeah. 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 And I find that to be very small. Yeah, I I use it a lot though on my smalls. I like a, a six by six. Yeah, um, and yeah. I don't mind. It doesn't do anything crazy to my hand or cramp it up or anything. Yeah, right. but this is so thin. If you're doing an ornament, that might yeah, it, it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I tried it on an ornament. You didn't like it. Mm -mm. It was too the little. One. No, the list one. Mm -hmm. I have one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, is that it that's your yeah, that's my home. so i was at the cross stitch cupboard yesterday and um at the cash register that's where she gets she them had, yeah <laughs> got that's, where, that's where the candy is that's right and this is a little <laughs> uh it's called so s-e-w handy h-a-n-d-y it is a multi-purpose tool <laughs> Like a Swiss Army knife of yeah, stitching. Yeah, like the Swiss Army knife of <laughs> stitching. So here's a little seam ripper. Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, there you are. We got yeah. some. Yeah, it's got a seam ripper here. You can see that. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a um, a, something else. There's a needle threader. Wait, come to the light. Can't see it at all. There's no. a needle threader there. One of those little wire needle threaders. Yeah. 
Where is it? Oh, you have to push it out. Oh, oh. Nope, yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Wait, <laughs> oh, can you see the best of that? A little bit. Uh -huh. A little bit. Yeah, better. you can see it there. Yeah. Okay. And um, I feel light. Is yeah. there a light? A little light. Hold on. How do you work the light? Is there a button to press? Oh, they're here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, bright. Wow. And is there see any... those needles that fell on the ground? Yes. yes. <laughs> Red cutter. Somewhere there's a a blade to cut the thread. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's a notch. A little knot. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know I had to take, <laughs> you know. It's that Snickers bar right by the car. Yeah. By, oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's got it all. It's got a needle threader, a seam ripper, a thread cutter, and uh, the, the light. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you're going to a retreat or if you're That's traveling, true. you can put, and you have it all right there in one piece. That's true. Or I'm, like on a plane. Yeah. So that's, yeah, I bet you, you, wouldn't, the, you wouldn't need scissors. Yeah. On a plane. And I bought some rings because I've got um, fibers that need to be, um, I have to rearrange my, my fiber wall. And I need. Oh, a, so you did buy some of those rings? Yes. Oh, the yeah. big ones? Big, I got a couple. Of, yeah, she had them in multiple sizes, so I just bought one of every size. Cause I love them. I It's the greatest thing. Yeah, yeah. Changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole life? <laughs> Absolutely, my whole life. Okay. So, so handy. handy. Yeah, yeah. Who's the maker? I don't know. No? Can't tell. Hmm. But cross stitch cupboard, Wilton Manners. They have it. Yeah. Okay. So now is it time for plans? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to throw you off. <laughs> okay. I I for one week <laughs> I sit and I write out the agenda like off the top. <laughs> yes, off the top of my head. And so yeah. it, what yeah, and and I go by the month before in my book. Yeah. So I. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's piled up here in order. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wash day is your next. Oh, wash day is your work though. Oh, I worked on wash day this Ooh. week. Did you hear my knees crack? No, was that your knee? Yes. Did you hear it? Oh my goodness. See, this is 48. My knee is actually 67. <laughs> so that's how old. Yeah. That's the 67 year old knee. <laughs> oh, wash day is sitting on the roller frame stand over there. Oh, because oh, you were working on it, right? Yeah. I'm she's coming. Work. She's going to get it because she did work on wash day. I, did. I think that's, that's a great idea. <laughs> so uh, I was watching this <laughs> side note while she, you know, I was watching this <laughs> this reel, and it was about um, who's that girl? It's just my that girl. I think that's the name of the thing. It's a show. It was a show. No, no, no. Oh, oh no. not that one. Okay. No, no, no. No, it was <laughs> that was my husband's favorite show, and he loved Marlo Thomas. And I think it was because her boyfriend's name was Donald. <laughs> and she would say, Oh, Donald, in that voice, you know. I think he fell in love with her because of that, because he's Donald. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, I see what you're talking about. It's not that girl. The That girl is a girl that moved to New York City, right? She moved to New York City and she threw the hat? Yeah. No, no that was that was Mary Tyler Moore. Um, yeah. That was Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, okay. Well, this is not what we're talking about. And now she's back. <laughs> Forget about what I was now talking about. Now we all want to know what it is you were going to I know, say. now we did. We all, all yeah. 
is it's gonna come to me don't worry it'll come to you okay okay so this is wash day uh which is a um it's a actually the design you got it yeah sorry it's new girl oh it's new oh, girl. oh gotcha yeah. Yeah. zoe deschanel yes yeah, i was thinking of her sister but that Emily. Was, yeah she was in anyway so she was in bones yes that's the sister yeah. but I'm talking about that new girl okay where, um she <laughs> Where she and her boyfriend was having a conversation. He's like, yeah, I've been working out. He's like, this is a body of a 34-year-old. And then when he went down to do push-ups, all you heard was cricking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he went up on the floor. Then he did like maybe one. He's like, yeah, I'll just let you leave. And like, so he won't because he wasn't able to get up. All that to say that. So new girl. <laughs> yeah, I I don't I don't get on the ground. I haven't gotten on the ground in about 10 years. <laughs> Mm, uh, not not on purpose anyway yeah <laughs> you ready yes i'm ready okay. i just had i had the charts pinned to it you want to put it up yes so this is clementine hunter uh it the chart that i'm working from from was actually a needlepoint chart mm -hmm. but i'm oh, just back. i guess i knew that yes mm -hmm. and the sheets i replaced with some of the um freedom quilt um design so this is wash day and i've been working on finishing the sky because i want to roll down mm -hmm. the, the scroll rod and and so i have been doing a lot of fill in in this area down here now i realize to you all it may not look like a lot but let me tell you <laughs> I, that that's there's a lot of work on fill-in down here and then no, I, it's it's solid stitching right it's solid stitching and then this cloud here i just need to fill that in and then mm -hmm. this guy will be done i also after i made the decision to replace some of the white sheets with some of the freedom quilts, I had to move clothespins. So I took out uh, um, okay. clothespins and then put put them back in so they're more appropriately placed for each quilt square. So mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. So much work. Oh, this is her signature. Yeah. Clementine Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. Wow, right here. That's her signature. Well, is it really? I think so. It's the C and the, the C H. Is backwards. Yes. That could be like a her thing. Maybe it is. See, maybe. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. I didn't realize. It could be. Mm -hmm. Could be. But it makes uh, sense. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot. I can't wait to get to the ladies. I want to get to yeah. the and you oh, wash them online. Yes. And yeah. Um, yeah. So there's wash day. Me. So thank you for allowing me to go back and come forward because no worries. You know, when when something gets on a stand, I leave it on the stand, particularly if it's really active. And then when we get get ready and put everything together, I forget I have things on stands. Because you're gonna work on it on Monday again. Yes, I'm working on it on Monday again. All righty, so let's hear your plans, Deb. It seems like a- Oh, okay. You actually said that. So um, aside from my 24 whips in 2024, um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Dina half stitch cross stitch was doing the 12 berries of Christmas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I happened to have the set as well I didn't run out and get it I kind of added my stash and she's actually working on it um she's doing like a berry uh you know the three berries in the month um because there's four charts or well there's four booklets 
and yes. there's three three in each booklet and so um this is the first one so i do have a plan in the back of my head to work on it i have this uh, Delarna 38 count from Silk Weaver called Heritage. Oh, that's pretty. And um, I'm going to do as many as I can on this fat quarter and then find something similar for the rest. It's just very, you know, neutral. Um, so I'll be showing those as they go this year, but um, I do have a plan to work on them. Okay. Now my 20, whip, 24 whips in 2024 um, for February, my um, winter Quakers was one of them. Mm -hmm. And I have, oh. I've gotten this far. Oh, nice. Wow. And that's the one that so, I was talking about, right? That has a lot with, of snowflakes. With the snowflakes and occasional cardinals. <laughs> Um, so yeah, not a lot done, but you know, a pretty decent start. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it's only been since probably 2019. Mm -hmm. But now, um, yes. now that I, so you're 24 by 24, your original plan was to spend two weeks on each one. So, well, yeah, that was the general idea, but mm -hmm. honestly, what I'm really focused on is finishing finishes. Mm -hmm. So um, what I ended up doing was spilling over into February for my January whips. Mm -hmm. So I am going to do these. I'm going to start um, this one probably to, uh, today mm -hmm. and work on it until I, I don't see this getting close to a finish. Mm -hmm. So I might do that, Shelia, where, where I break it off maybe in a week or so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's just not close enough to a finish to really worry about it mm -hmm. and then the other one is um uh snowman trio oh, and cool. it's by stitchy kitty yeah and this is what it looks like it's willy chili and millie <laughs> and oops get a little you want to do all three of them? I want to. My sister is the one who wanted it, so I'm doing it for her. I have finished Willie. Okay. Mm -hmm. If Willie is done. Mm -hmm. So um, the fabric is large enough to do them all, mm -hmm. so I can either frame them or I can cut them up and do stand-ups. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind, you know, flat folds. I'm kind of thinking I want to do flat folds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's because what they did was they put them on styrofoam cubes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then they put little bows on top. That was how they did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's their finish. I mean, I could do that too, but I was thinking maybe I want to learn flat folds. So I was thinking I could do it myself mm -hmm. and uh, try and finish it that way. Very nice. So those are my plans. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not going to tell you about March because number one, I didn't pull it all out. <laughs> and number two, there is no number two. <laughs> <laughs> Refer to number one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's good. The, you've got the, those are nice. So between the, the berries, the winter Quaker and the snowman, that's yeah, it'll be a nice month. My nice rest of the month. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so EJ, your plans? My plan is to start, okay, because today is the is the lunar. Oh, today is the year of the dragon year. Yeah. Oh, is it's it? Lunar new Ooh. year. Oh. It is a lunar new year, and it's the year of the dragon starting today. So I will start one of my dragon pieces, not the one from Owl Force Embroidery mm -hmm. that I purchased. It's mm -hmm. going to come later, mm -hmm. but the one that was gifted to me, mm -hmm. Fireside, mm -hmm. Fireside mm -hmm. Wing, yeah. Fire Wing, Fireside Wing, something. Um, I pull the fabric 
I have the threads and I have the thing. I don't know where I put any of those. Oh, no. So <laughs> I know I, I don't know where I put the fabric. I really don't, but I pull them all out yeah. and they're ready. Yeah. But for the life of me, I can't remember where I put them. You don't, did you put it in a project bag? Is the whole project bag? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. You have to find the whole project, project bag. bag. Yeah, that's it. Because I remember last weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, I was pulling out the mm -hmm. fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's probably in the project bag mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start that today when I get home. Oh, good. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to continue working on my Bake Me a Quaker because my priorities are right here. Bake Me a Quaker style, which is going fine. Whip go, which I have um, three more days on seasonal motifs one, sorry, seasonal motifs two, and one more day on joyous, oh, joyous day, right? That's the name? Yeah. Oh, joyous day. Then my magazine monthly challenge, my, what do you call that? Acrostic. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is is that one by um caroline zook see zook stitch yeah caroline zook okay okay so um i got one done i'm working on rosewood manor because the the goal is to complete the february section so that's you know mm -hmm. ongoing right. i need to okay. yeah, I need both of these things out that's that's plain and simple and start stitching on it. That's it. And you and you, EJ, are a working girl. Yes, I do have a full time job. You do have a full time, very very um, intense job. Don't Gotta remind. give yourself some grace. <laughs> Don't remind her. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. It's the, but it's the best stress reliever, right? Yes, yes. And and when I like sometimes when you go home from work and you're so tired, you don't want to do anything. You veg like you're watching TV, you just let it your mind wander. But then I feel more relaxed stitching than I do just watching TV. Yeah. I think that's so true. Absolutely. Well, I'm realizing I actually had another whip, but I'm not gonna that. it's sitting over there. I came home, I worked on it. You want to bring it out? No, it's, uh, no, I'm not getting up again. Okay, I'll show it next. <laughs> yeah, because you'll have well. Yeah, see what? Yeah, Queen B. I worked on Queen B. Mm -hmm. but oh, I'll, I love that one. I love yeah. it. I'll, I'll, yeah, it's the show B, that next time. B Queen. Yeah, I always call it Queen, queen B, B, but it's the B Queen. Mm -hmm. I will. Um, I'll show it next week. I always have one. Oh, I'll show it next week um and that when when we were just talking and I said maybe in a project bag all of a sudden my mind went oh yeah the piece I worked on yesterday is still in the project bag which is over there <laughs> that's okay that's so sorry um so today I'm going to be working on this Juneteenth day which is on mm -hmm. my heart side craft um craft side lap stand and this week, on tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday, I have a new start. I will be starting mini coffee break by uh, Jules, designed by Jules. Yes. Uh, I will pick wash day up again. I will give a coffee break. We'll actually get two days this week because my, my new starts, I try to give three days to. Mm -hmm. So mm. I'll give two days to mini coffee break this week and it will get a lot because tomorrow is a major devoted day to football so I'll be squatted on the couch in front of the TV all day long. So it's the so Sheila, I have to I have to watch the Super Bowl mm -hmm. tomorrow. It's it's to? for yes, it's for um charity purposes. What yeah, I I donated some money to um what do you call those? A pool. Uh-huh. And you get a square. Mm -hmm. So I gotta see how that went. Okay. So I, I gotta know what the scores are. 
So what time does the game start? 6.30 p.m. Is that all pregame or does it actually start at 8? I have no idea because at 6.30, I'm going to be sitting in front of my TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So it's the 49ers, and is the, it? And the Kansas City And the Chiefs. Chiefs. Got it. Yes. I, I do know that. I do know that. It's a halftime oh. show. Halftime? What is the, what it? <laughs> need to know time no because you never know you never know oh, well i mean it's about ish an hour in an hour in so 7 30 if you miss it <laughs> so 7 30 ish you yeah. just never know it depends on how long the minutes last in the football men's thing yeah what yeah. wait time time is, time. a minute in football is not a minute correct um, so it could be at 7.30, 7.45. 7 o'clock. Uh, a minute in football could no, last 20, 20 minutes. It could be 7.15, 7.30, quarter okay. to eight. All right. And what channel? ABC, NBC, Fox. What is this? You know, I don't even know. See? You know what? My son told me the very first Super Bowl was on all the networks because okay. no one was going to watch it. They didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. So they put it on all the networks. The first one. Are they putting it on all the networks now? No. no well, no. I heard they're going to put it on Nickelodeon. Why? Oh, yes. Yeah. So there's, for the last couple of years or so, there's been a, a kid's version of the Super Bowl oh. where they put um, like animations. Slime and, animation. Yeah, slime. Oh, maybe that's one I'll be watching. Circles when they run around and one of the one of the really good um guys who used to play um, nate nate um nash does the um it helps MC. The MC. analyst yeah mm -hmm. and he's got a young um young kid that works with him uh-huh been hugely popular oh, wow. hugely popular with 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 kids so they they do that every year okay so, so anyhow, so uh, that's my new start, mini coffee break that day. Uh, I'll pick up B. Hollander again um, and Ann Crowther, Letters from Mom. So it's a lot of repeats that you saw this week. You'll see again next week, but hopefully a lot of progress with them. But the, the, the wonderfulness of a new start. Yes. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. So now for announcements. Oh, yeah. So we have, hopefully um, you noticed this past week that we posted a special announcement video, uh, which was actually yesterday. Yes. Because uh, EJ and I have been invited with uh, Jean Farish and Michelle Bindi Stitchy to host, co-host, the floss tube at sea cruise that will take place january 25th through february 1st <laughs> it is a saturday to saturday cruise mm -hmm. seven days leaving out of port everglades on the celebrity apex all information about the cruise registration opens february 24th uh, is available on stitchers escapes Dot com and there's a link for it in our description below there is uh she's got all the information Every, right there yeah. on the website the different cabins cabin prices there are three sea days and three port days mm -hmm. and what i love about it is that it's that you leave port everglades and you get two sea days i mean like that to me is a, a perfect kind of uh -huh. um, seven day kind of intro into mm -hmm. a cruise. The Celebrity Apex is one of Celebrity's newest ships. It is a gorgeous ship. I have seen several videos, walkthroughs of it. And I'm very excited to um, actually um, be on that ship. Mm -hmm. uh, they have these neat, uh, this new concept for balcony staterooms mm -hmm. where the you don't have the balcony that comes out the side of the ship 
is called an infinite veranda mm -hmm. where this the room was extended mm -hmm. kind of the width of a balcony mm -hmm. but it has a, a window that's about halfway that can you can low uh, raise up or mm -hmm. low bring it low down mm -hmm. so that you've got the glass for the balcony but then it's open but that's but you can have the the glass up and still sit there as if you were on your balcony and see all of the mm -hmm. the whatever out there water or scenery uh mm -hmm. just, and again i've seen videos of it so i'm very excited about that i'm excited i'm excited yes so it's the three c days the half of the c day is um classes and presentations mm -hmm. each one of the hosts will um have a morning um to do something ej is working on what we're going to do <laughs> we are. Uh, but it'll be fun it'll be exciting and because it's Sheila and ej it's going to be simple <laughs> yes and then the afternoon will be stitching and games. Uh, it's a very um, free kind of um, plan or schedule, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, the from there are several floss tubes that talk about mm -hmm. uh, floss tube at C twenty twenty four that will give you an idea of what it was like. Both Jean Farish, Michelle Bendy, Stitchy. And the one of the third co-hosts for 2024 is Jan Dan Hicks. Hicks. So mm -hmm. look for their um, floss tubes. And there are um, three other floss tubes of folks who were part of the group. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Marumi just posted. Yeah, her she yesterday. did. Um, yeah, Marumi Crafts. Mar uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maryam, she just did hers. Uh, the pictures alone, right? At the end. And then... There was a picture with her. I was like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, I want to go there. Oh, that's nice. And then she took a picture of uh, her holding monkeys. I'm like, oh, no, not me. If I want to hold a monkey, I, I have a grandson. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> um, and then the port days are Tortola. St. Kitts and Puerto Plata yeah. mm -hmm. in the uh, Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the uh, St. Kitts Day is the only kind of planned day for the group where Jean Farish. If has, you want to. If you want to. Yeah. Jean Farish has arranged a, a visit to a boutique factory. Yes. At, and they, they had, um, Marumi had a little, um, Miriam had a little video on how she did her boutique piece because they had like a handkerchief size oh. beautiful okay. beautiful she did hers deep purple and and mm. you know, did the wax and then you, I guess you take it home to finish it well it was a class they actually mm -hmm. made their nice own. oh yeah yeah it was a class mm -hmm. yeah which I cool. found, found it really fascinating um, so again please consider yeah. um, now's the time to um, talk to your friends, make your plans. You've got a year. Yes. Um, of course, you, know, you have to pay with less than a year, but yeah. you know, check out stitchersescapes.com. Last year, 2024 cruise, there were 74 mm -hmm. uh, stitchers, stitchers. Mm -hmm. makers, and there were um, 20 for non-stitcher mm -hmm. makers like husbands mm -hmm. or just roommates, friends who came yeah. with um, stitchers. And so it was a group of like 101. That was nice. And it was the way, it sounds like the way they managed it. You never felt like you were with this big group. Mm -hmm. There was always a smaller group. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Folks decided not, if they folks decided not to stitch in the space stitch that room. had been reserved, mm -hmm for the group they just found other places around the ship as mm -hmm. people got to know the ship it was a different ship it was the asset last year but they're twin mm -hmm. ships they found other little spaces to congregate and go stitch they did that um yeah so 
it sounded it's like my kind of cruise <laughs> you know caribbean wintertime stitchers so so check, definitely check, check out mm -hmm. stitchersescapes.com and uh geez you know we just love to to cruise with you Make yes yeah oh, it should be, fun. be so much fun i'm excited We'll I keep, I keep saying it. that. We're going to keep talking about it because we're both so excited yes. about it. Oh, and I found my passport. Oh, good. When does it expire? 2029. Oh, so you're good. I'm winning already. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm like, when did I do? Oh, 10 years, 2029. Yeah, they're it. good for 10 yeah. years. Very good. Okay, now make sure you put that in the Yes, it's in the, it's in the safe that I have it in. Oh, okay. So. Okay, good. Is where it's supposed to be. Yes. Basically. <laughs> yes. I hopefully, hopefully I didn't put my fabric in this. <laughs> oh, wait, open it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on that wonderful kind of, oh, my t-shirt. Oh, today. yeah. Wait. <sighs> yes. It says cruise ship is calling. And Except of the now. Yeah. And I must go. <laughs> can, you, can you see the button and everything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's long, so I had to make sure I got it all out here. <laughs> she loves this shirt. I do. <laughs> she loves this shirt. I do. I got it off Facebook. You Facebook shop? Yeah, Kate. A lot of people do, actually. Yeah. Maybe just me and I. I mean, you get some really neat things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, there's some neat things that show up. Okay, so I think we've said it all. Don't forget, no, no matter, matter where you are. are the, the sun, sun is always sun shining sun. when you're <laughs> stitching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I could not get the left, right, up, down. Oh, thing. this it, 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 because we're on something different. We're on her yes, laptop instead of my phone. Yeah, where the phone gives you a more accurate. It really flips you. So if you're pointing here. It's really there that you see mm -hmm, the phone, mm -hmm. whereas this is right. Like, you know, oh, yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, that, that's okay. It just adds another flavor. Character. Character. <laughs> that's what we're going to call it. Character. Character. Character.